AI has taken over our lives. It is just the beginning. It will get better, faster, more efficient in helping things work uh, in our work. I will just say that. Yeah? It will move very, very quickly. And I always like to say this. Be, be polite. Yeah? When we use command, when we use prompts, use, use thank you. Because one day when they become alive, at least they will not eliminate, they will not kill us first because they will remember who we are. Okay. So welcome, welcome to the third session of uh, the series where today I will be sharing on the topic exploiting AI for content creation. Basically what I'll do today is share with you some tools, some prompts, how we do content, how we utilize uh, AI for our content. Is it okay? So if you're ready, uh, let's move on, right? Again, my name is Charles. I am the uh, CEO, founder of DMC, and we do this on a regular weekly meeting. Uh, if I'm not sharing, hopefully uh, a teammate of mine or a guest speaker will be sharing on the topics, yeah? So this is completely free uh, by invitation, and I want to thank you all for here today. So let's move on, yeah? All right, again, I would like to say this. AI has taken over our lives. It is just the beginning. It will get better, faster, more efficient in helping things work uh, in our work. I will just say that. Yeah? It will move very, very quickly. And I always like to say this. Be, be polite. Yeah? When we use command, when we use prompts, use, use thank you. Because one day when they become alive, at least they will not eliminate, they will not kill us first because they will remember who we are. Okay. This is just, I like to say this in the beginning so that, uh, you know, just to lighthearted. Okay. So, tools of the trade. What tools are we going to use today? Same thing again. We were using Harpa. Um, I always talk about this tool. This is probably the best tool, in my opinion, today or one of the best tools, one of the better tools in AI, and it's completely free. Uh, I will show you in a short while how do we install this. And we will use also ChatGPT version 4. If you have not used, if you have not upgraded to 4, purchase it. Yeah, I think it's only $20 a month. It's so amazing. We use this, and it's so much worse difference compared to uh, 3.5. So, before I move on, I need your feedback. Mm, how many of you have not heard of Harpa? If you have been following me for the first two sessions, Harpa is one of the main tools that I use, um, and also ChatGPT. So one by one, I just ask you all, how many of you have not heard of Harpa today? All right, so a few of you have not heard, so it's totally fine. Um, I'll share then. Uh, before I do that, how about... Chat GPT. How about Chat GPT? I mean, uh, are you familiar with it? Do I need to introduce to you? All? Do I need to show you how to register Chat GPT? Um, sure. All you need to do is uh, use the Chrome extension. So what you do is you just uh, Google Harpa um, extension for Chrome and Click on the first link that you see, and we will open up um, an extension like this. Yeah, and what you do is you will see the Add to Chrome. If you have not installed it, Add to Chrome. Just click on Add to Chrome, and then you go to the Jigsaw Puzzle button here on the top right. I always call it the extension Chrome extension as Jigsaw Puzzle button. Click on the extension, find Harpa, pin it, pin it to the top. So once you pin it on the top, you will probably see a red color button and that's where you know that uh, you have installed Harpa um, successfully okay again Chrome extension okay click this add to Chrome click on the jigsaw puzzle and uh, you will see the red circle there and of course I'm using chat GPT um, the default is 3.5 if you upgraded it it's twenty dollars a month it is for again i'm not earning anything i just think that it's one of the best tool to have uh, for your business for your personnel if you're not using it um 
you're losing out a lot. Yeah, so just upgrade. It's only twenty dollars, but the work that can be done is like four or five stuff, which is equivalent to maybe twenty thousand ringgit a month, uh, on average. Yeah, because the speed, the uh, work that um, both Harpa and uh, ChatGPT can do is amazing. Now, just to let you all know, uh, once you install Harpa, you will have to log in with your ChatGPT account and be using your default ChatGPT account. So in this case, um, my default here is uh, 4. All right. So Harpa is more powerful because it's using version 4, just to share with you. OK? OK. So the next tool that I want to introduce will be Freemora. Now, Freemora 12, it's just recently launched version 12. Um, let me just show you uh, what is it all about. A super impressive viral YouTube video. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to be famous. Hmm, let me see here. Okay. Uh, remember, creating a viral YouTube video requires a combination of creativity, talent, and hard work. What do you mean I still need hard work? Hey everyone, it's Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Chances are, if you've been on the internet lately, you've seen the new advancements in AI technology and how revolutionary they are for content creators. That's why we've implemented a ton of new AI-powered tools to Filmora 12, like image generation and now ChatGPT. So I explained to you, uh, Filmora has updated into AI, meaning you can type in a text, the image uh, will come out automatically that you can use. Videos also automatically can be used. Yeah. So Filmora has a huge database of um, uh, content yeah, you can use, uh, and you can just type in a text, it will come out whatever that you want to. And if you haven't already downloaded Filmora 12, you can do so at filmora.wondershare.com or at the link in the description. Filmora 12 now has ChatGPT functionality built right into the program. ChatGPT is the newest cutting edge AI technology that will generate text for you, from a simple script to even having a conversation with you. In the new Filmora 12, you can find ChatGPT by clicking the AI copywriting button on the splash screen. Here you can simply prompt the AI to write you anything. You can ask for a simple idea or story to get inspired a script to use as an outline, or whatever else you can think of. The possibilities are literally endless. OK, computer, write me a script advertising the AI tools in Filmora 12. Uh, da, 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 voiceover, are you tired of spending hours upon hours editing your videos? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, I am. And of course, there are so many other cutting edge AI tools in Filmora 12 like the AI image generator, which can create completely unique images based only on a text prompt that you can use in your video. Or how about the AI smart cutout and AI portrait tools, which let you cut yourself or anything out of the background without the need of a green screen. There's also a suite of AI. Uh, you just want to highlight a little bit, yeah? That particular tool where you can cut uh, everybody without even a green screen, meaning you can superimpose people. So, for example, uh, if you want to superimpose uh, my face to, I don't know, Brad Pitt, we can actually do that uh, using uh, Filmora. You can just, uh, and, and the good thing is, you do not need to have skills. If you have used Photoshop before, in order to quickly, nicely, you know, click, click, click to highlight the whole thing will probably take you a few minutes. Now, with a push of a button, you can highlight what you want to replace. So I'll share this with you. AI audio tools in Filmora 12, like the audio stretch tool to change the length of a track, noise removal for cleaning up messy audio, and vocal enhancer tool to make your voice boom. And that's... Okay, the voice, the audio thing, usually when you make a video, you need to find a sound that matches the video, correct or not? Uh, in this case, the AI will just continue looping the video to fit uh, the audio to fit your video. So you don't have to find a perfect sync uh, with Flimora. It actually does this for you automatically. That's not all. There's also AI-powered motion tracking for effects, AI stabilization for shaky footage. A okay, what do I mean by that? Um, think about it. If today you... Um, running and you're filming something, the video will be very shaky, right? 
So the software Filmora will able to stabilize the video for you. So you don't have to buy those expensive, uh, what do you call that? Uh, suddenly, I'm not a photographer, but I know what they do. They just buy that thing and then they stabilize your your your, your mobile phone or your camera. And then they will, if, if that tool, you can actually run and your video will be audio, will be stabilized. With Filmora, you don't have to because it actually does this for you. So those are amazing things that uh, AI software can do today. AI-powered speech-to-text for easy caption generation, the list goes on. With Filmora 12, you can use the new AI features as a sort of co-pilot. It'll take care of the boring and repetitive tasks for you, so you can focus on the big picture. Take a look at our channel for in-depth tutorials on all of the features that I just mentioned. And leave a comment with your favorite AI tool, or some AI tools that you want to see implemented into Filmora. And make sure you like the video. Now you probably ask me, hey Charles, there's so many softwares outside there. Which one should I focus on? So this is the thing. Um, we ask ourselves this. Yeah, we ask ourselves this. Do we want to really spend time scorching the internet, scorching the internet, searching every single thing, find to find the best softwares? So for now, I think I'm not an affiliate for Filmora. I'm just saying that it's a good software. Use it. It's easy to use, uh, especially for beginners. Uh, the learning curve is amazing short, and there's a lot of tutorials that the guy mentioned just now on YouTube or on the internet that you can find easily. So you do not have to go to a course or pay people two, three to six months to learn something. You can start implementing it. So that's the reason why I introduced this software to you. There's a first free version. There's, of course, upgraded version. It's up to you what to use. Yeah. Um, as we go along, I will introduce you more tools, all right? And then I'll share a few the application on how to use it. Okay, so I want to share a few some few tools uh, for text to images. Okay, text to images. Now, uh, a tool that I use, this is a paid tool. I believe it's ten dollars a month. Okay, it is called Mid Journey. If you can think of it, you will be able to create it. So yesterday I was doing another. Um, training, uh, it's a paid training, and I was asking the students, I said, I'm going to blow your mind with this tool, and this particular student who was sitting in front of me will go like, yeah, right, you know, I mean, the kind of attitude, right, and I was just like, you know, I can see from her face, so I said, I'm going to blow your mind with this tool, and she goes like, yeah, right, okay, she's a middle-aged woman, I believe about 50, 60s here, yeah? and she actually challenged me, um, I can't even remember the thing, but it was something like a yellow octopus sitting in a car. Yellow octopus sitting in a car. And I said, yeah, if I ask my designer to create that, it probably takes hours or maybe even days to think of the image, yellow octopus sitting in a car. All right? So what I want to share with you, yellow monster somewhere in there. So yellow monster somewhere in there. Thank you, Kat. So that was something that was, you know, I also was worried because I'm not sure whether Mint Journey can do it. So anyway, what I'll share with you is, it is a good tool. Now, will it replace your designer? Depends. I would say it really depends. Yeah? If my designer do not upgrade herself with tools, then probably, yeah, she'll be obsolete one day. But do remember when I always say that AI is always complementing us. So as long as we know how to use, our work become more efficient, more faster. So in order to register or use Midjourney, uh, you can go to, again, Google. Just register an account similar to how you register Harpa, how you register uh, ChatGPT. You just click on this, you just register an account, and uh, that's it. Okay. Now, what you need to do is uh, you also need to install Discord. Okay. You need to install Discord. This is Discord, it is a software, it is free to use. Uh, for Windows and I believe also for Mac. However, I I think you can only use Mid Journey for a couple of times, and after that you will be asked to upgrade, which is ten dollars a month. Now this is Discord. One that you're seeing is Discord. All you need to do is go into a newcomer room, and you can uh, use it automatically. How it works? It uses the prom Imagine. Okay, so if you can just forward slash the prom. Imagine, and then you can type anything that you want, or you can imagine. So let's look at a lot of people that are using it. 
and you can use any of these images i believe it's yours uh and you can see how people do it okay so i'm just going to go with random people's prom so that you can have an idea what it can do so the only difference is i would say if you are a beginner you will probably have basic prompts if you're an expert then your prompts will be more matured and you get better images so as long as you can describe give the command prompt the image will be there given to you for free ten dollars per month to use all these tools right so in this case be inspired trucker head design with green color visor and white color panels boom it comes out like this so if you can see there are four images in general yeah and uh, how you see this is the u1 to u4 one two three four if you want to make it bigger you can just click whatever that you want if you like a particular image and you want to have a different version a different take on it you just type in the v the version v is for version all right and you can let's take another one so people who are most um i would say familiar with prompts they will go into the uh, dimension like 69 5 2 glowing sword magic effects cinematic lights and you come out a wonderful image like this okay uh and you can see how people do more prompts the more specific they are the more the image can tell you what it wants so in this case cinematic graphy photography 80s 30 m 35 mm i believe it's a lens a woman in an orange uh, duffel coat with brown short hair on a snowy hill amazing look at that it's a snowy hill by the way, I mean, Jenny, I just upgraded about last week. Yeah, I'm not sure the version now. Last week was upgraded. It was huge in the news. And it began to understand us more and more and more now. All right? So, yeah. Oh, thank you for my team for replying yeah, in the chat room. I think it's good enough. My team is handling there, so I can focus on here. You can double, yeah? Uh, and and, and uh, it, it goes on. It goes on and on and on, yeah? A gorgeous blonde in light blue, white patterned uh, mini dress. Uh, it doesn't focus on mini dress. I think it's a little bit high. Small detail in yellow, posing for a photo. Yeah, it has drops of yellow into it. In a style of Philip McKay, I'm not familiar with that. Featuring light blue and white rocks. Um, I don't see any rocks here. Now, of course, it's not going to be like what you 100% imagine, what 100% comes out. But it's getting there. If you have used this in the last couple of months, you will know that it's really, really improving, right? And right now, it's it's almost amazing already. It's like unbelievable level. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. It's mid journey. Okay, now uh, a team of twelve people in the office with one man and eleven women. Okay, I've never seen this, so I'm curious. Okay, um, I do not sure if she can count. So let me count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One man. Um, 15 is out. One man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's also a few men here. Now, like I said, it's almost there already. And how do I know? I look at the hands. Uh, Mid Journey had a problem with, I mean, all AI uh, softwares, generators, had a problem with hands, and they couldn't make hands properly. But right now, if you've been using AI for a very, very long time, and when I say long time, it's in the last six months, you will realize that it's getting better and better each upgrade. And one day, again, I will say that you become a Terminator. If you use the word please and thank you, you probably will be spared. Always remember that. Okay, so now the next question is, how do I do prompts? Okay, so now I'm going to combine two things. And uh, one thing is uh, I will use, hold on, yeah, let me just make sure. Okay, I will use Harpa now. Yeah, so I will just open Harpa. Just click on the right circle and... There's a top button here so that for easy for you to see. Again, the prompts in this case, forward slash. I will use mid journey prompt, MID, uh, prompt generator. So, same thing. I will just click on uh, mid journey prompt generator and you say here, it will give you the prompt. So, Harpa is helping us write the prompt so that we can insert into um, Discord. Are you okay? So, Harpa. Mix the prom, let's call it prom master, and then we take the prom, copy and paste into uh, Discord, and that is what we are doing now. Right, can you follow me? Am I going too fast? Let me just um, come on. I mean, let me slow down a little bit. Are you okay? So let me just show you. I will use yesterday's uh, women, uh, the challenge yellow monster submarine. 
So, I mean, who would think of a yellow monster, right? She really wanted to really come after me, so she gave me this. And by all means, it was a nice lady. At the end of the whole training session, she said, thank you, Charles. It was a wonderful session. I've learned a lot. But during the part, right, imagine, eh? so this is was uh, uh, on a submarine. This was the thing. Okay, can I yellow monster on a submarine? So you put in the uh, keyword that you want. In this case, this is the prom. Okay, I usually don't read the prom because I trust Harpa. It gives you five version. Every time you put in a prom, it gives you five version. It's um in this case there will be photorealistic monster, photorealistic artistic. That means it's something artistic. Abstract yellow monster. Okay, you can understand it's going to be abstract. Uh, digital art and graffiti. So in this case, I want to show you all uh, this. So what I need to do is just click on whatever prompt that you want. And we go back to uh, this card. OK, so here uh, we are going to cut and paste. You can see that I cut and paste and then click Enter. And now it actually um, the command has been sent at 8.26 PM. OK, it takes time, probably about one minute, two minutes but it will actually generate the image automatically in front of you right now you will see so this guy is actually really fine-tuning the image he's modifying the prompt here and there to get the image exactly what he or she wants in my case i'm going to find my my yellow monster in a submarine prompt <laughs> it's generating it's 31 percent now It is 46 percent now you are seeing it live and uh good things everything is moving so smooth so far because i'm doing live in front of you and sometimes when you do live it actually breaks out oh by the way yeah if you put in the same prompt again and again and again every time you put in the same prompt it will give you a different image it will give you a different image do take note of that the exact same prompt if now i give to you if you want to try this is the prom that I'm using. Uh, you put it into this card, you will get a different image compared to mine. Okay, because it's generated uh, in a fly. Okay, where's my prom now? It's missing already. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's in uh, Summerine. Okay, and it's a yellow monster. So if I zoom in a little bit for you, you can take a look. Yellow monster in a Summerine. Uh, I'm not sure what it's doing, but if a designer were to come out this, will probably take you know a lot of uh, 3D skills. Today, one button, one prompt generated for you. All right, so use it. Um, can it make? Maybe I ask some questions and then just to let you know, yeah, because I tested a lot of this. Can it make an infographic? Can it, can I just put a prompt and say, hey, come out a, a, a population of uh, Malaysian uh, men versus women, the demographic. And you want an infographic comes out automatically from there. Um, it doesn't work that way. Okay, it will still come out an infographic, but there's no data there. So what you can do, what you can do is um, use ChatGPT to come out the research that you want, uh, and then parts of it you can use AI to create for you. But for now, Midjourney cannot do everything in one go like that. But if it's something like you know something that you can imagine that is why the software is called imagine uh, the problem is called imagine it will um, appear in front of you and if you don't like it you can tweak here tweak there up to you so you get better and better and better like what some of these people are doing now all right okay cool i'm going to move on because there's so many things to cover and i think there's only two slides that i cover or three slides only all right cool so this is something that i want to share with you now, um, you also have DALI, so um, I don't use it. I use uh, Mid Journey, but I have a slide for you. You can put in a prompt there. Illustration of a baby daikon, reddish in a tutu, walking a dog. Who will ever think of that? My goodness. Baby daikon, reddish in a tutu, walking a dog. But DALI can actually create for you. If you're using DALI, DALI is the same uh, company that does uh, ChatGPT. If you go to ChatGPT, you also see DALI. You can actually pay for it. And this is what it comes out. An armchair in the shape of avocado. You know what's an avocado, right? So this is something that for you to take note of. Now, I'll give you my opinion. And it's an opinion that I think that is uh, 
it's only an opinion, but I think it's going to carry weight. In the very, very near future, give about six months down the road, what I predict is interior designer. They can put in the specs and automatically it will give an ID. That means interior designer can come out using AI already there. But in the next six months, I will say be fine-tuned, polish accordingly to what you want. So you can actually, to me, I think that it is so amazing. They can upload all the things that you want. Uh, and you just one button, it will design for you in different, different colors, different scheme, and it will be used for technology in many, many sectors as we go along. So this is an opinion, but I think it's something that is very, but if you are lose that, that means you are not using AI now, in content, you will probably be left out, I would say. Now, how about free tools? Of course, there are free tools. You just go to Microsoft Designer. Uh, generate an image using a description. You can Google it, go to Microsoft Designer, and an illustration of a robot painting a human. A robot painting a human. You can see that are three results comes out. It's not as good as Mid Journey as you can see the quality, but it's free. Okay, so there's something for you to take note of. Better start rather than nothing. And this is something that is very freaky a robot painting a human. And what else here? Yeah? Okay. So now, um, X to speech, okay? Uh, just about two, three years ago, if I want to get uh, someone who reads a text for me to use in my marketing or to use in my content, I have to pay the person. And I usually go to Fiverr to do it. I pay about $100, uh, $120, you know, to, to, to do a speech for me. This is what is happening. Maybe I'll show you, yeah? This is about a couple of years ago when you go to Fiverr, and uh, you want um, someone who do um, voice voice over. Okay, just, just go to Fiverr, and you can see the rigs are there. So you give them a text, and they will speak. They will depend on their voice, whatever that you want. Okay, so in this case, it'll be about fifty dollars, hundred dollars on average. Uh, it'll be about hundred dollars. Today, I don't have to use them anymore because there are tools, AI tools, that you can do text to speech. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. Introducing Dub dub, the AI voice studio. Creates voiceover for your videos and audios. Easily and quickly. Over 300 AI synthesized speakers in dozens of languages and accents. Make your audio sound professional and charming. You can choose different speakers for each role in conversations. You excel so much in the dance. Mr. Darcy is all politeness. And even with multiple emotional styles, such as happy, angry, sentimental, etc. Whoa! Amazing! Now, create audios and videos simply from text in three steps. Step 1 Paste or type in your text. Step 2 Choose language and voices. Step 3. Export your audio or video with subtitles. Wait, you could even edit the audio as you want. Change speed. Correct pronouncing errors. Adjust rhythm, add pause, just name it. Lots of hot videos earning more than 1 million views on TikTok and YouTube are created by DubDub. The fox suddenly became aware of the smell of grapes. Wow, it's a grapevine. The free video collection. Boost your business English. With business phone calls. The boy has always had a dream of music, but his family obstructed him. Guess what? This video is also dubbed by DubDub. Recap. With DubDub, you can transform your text into professional and perfect audio in seconds. Time saving and budget reducing. DubDub, the professional AI dubber. Okay. So if you can see that there's many uh, functionality and ideas that you can do, just into the text, it comes with a voice, you can put image, you can combine with Filmora, you can make an animation. Uh, the possibilities are endless, I say, yeah, endless. One day, I probably I will be replacing myself. I can make an avatar of myself. I can speak a little bit there, maybe read about one minute of text, so you can come out exactly my text. And then what you can do is, I can just put in the script. You'll probably see me in avatar with my voice, presenting to you. The only difference is it's not interactive. 
yet here. Um, and of course, I need to show you here and there. So I don't think for the next one year, I think I'm, my job is still okay. <laughs> I think my job is still fine. Oh. For a free account. Once you finish setting up your account, look at how you can use the most realistic sounding text-to-speech software that... Okay, this is a bit long, so I'll just focus on the key points. Will that be okay? So I'll be clicking to the key points here. Uh, so this is... Uh, by 11 laps, let me just show it to you. Okay, 11 laps. So let me just show it to you some of the highlights here. Okay, here. You can also click on the link down below in the description. Right here on the homepage, you don't even have to set up an account. You can just type in some text, and right here, you can select a voice to narrate that text. Here you have all of these different pre made voices. And later on, we'll look at how you can even create your own customized voice. You have a mix of males and also females. Once you're ready to generate your speech, you can click on this play icon right down below. On the home page, you are limited by how many characters to 10,000 characters full. Go through and listen to all of the different options. Below that, you also have voice settings, and here you could adjust things like the stability. If you go down to the left where it's more variable, this will cause the voice to sound more expressive. Here, you could also modify the clarity and similarity enhancement. You could try adjusting these different values to see how that affects the voice. Down below, here's where you can type in your text. And the more text you type in, the better the model will work. And the reason why is it adjusts the delivery based on the context of the text. Here, for instance, I'll type in text. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to report. I am still just blown away by how good this technology has gotten. Kevin Cookie Company has the best chocolate chip cookie. Yay, this is fantastic news. Okay, I'm just going to share this with you. The One of the biggest problem uh, text to AI is because they, it doesn't know annotation. That means it's not up, it's not down. Like I'm speaking to you, I'm sharing with you, I modulate my voice, right? That has been solved. And again, it's getting better and better. Uh, again, in probably next three months, like 26 months, you will probably do not even know the difference between AI content, voice, and uh, uh, original person. Yeah, because it's so good for smooth with all these uh, intonations, sound, and things like that. That too also sounds fantastic. If you like the voice, but you weren't quite satisfied with the delivery, up above, you could click into voice settings and you could try modifying these different values. Or you could simply go back down to generate and you could simply regenerate and you'll get a slightly different variation. Let's listen again. Haha, -ha, just kidding. Great news to report. The Kevin Cookie Company has the best chocolate chip cookie. Yay, this is fantastic news. So there you get the same voice, but... Okay. So this is by 11 Labs. If you like it, you can Google it, uh, play around with it, because there's so much more things that I want to share with you today. All right? Give me some feedback, please. Are you all learning? I mean, is this something that you wanted? I mean, am I sharing with you things that is useful? Okay, thanks for the feedback. Okay, so now... Um, Tools are one thing, right? But how do we use it in our everyday life? So I'm going to give you a couple of case studies, and then you can take back all these things, and then you can implement in your work, in your job, in whatever that you're doing. Is it okay? So the tools are tools, but it's better that I combine with case studies so that you know how to use it, how to implement it. So let's go. Okay, so number one, it's always important. There are four questions that you need to do when you're researching. Number one is always this, who are you targeting? Who is your target audience? That means, do they like to watch short videos, long videos? Are they someone who likes data? Are they someone who likes just... Give me quickly a random, okay? So the first one is, who is your target audience? And then, if you have a product to promote, you can always focus on a product. Which product is this content going to be promoted to? And then, what is your call to action? And what stage is our customer journey? That means, where are they? Because towards the end, for example, customer journey, again, if you're very confused what I'm talking about, this is webinar three. On the first webinar, I actually talk about customer journey. If you have not joined my Telegram group, at the end of it, I will uh, invite you to the free Telegram group where every week we just share good quality content like this, completely free. The first video is shared about customer journey. In this case, I will just summarize a little bit what is customer journey. So in the beginning, if you're in the awareness stage, there are probably seven stages. If you're in the awareness stage, you probably want to give a lot of information. Uh, but if you're in the Maybe you're on a fifth stage where you want to close the deal. You give a lot of um, 
sales stock, sales pitch. So depending on where they are, if you're in the first stage and you give a sales pitch, they will be pissed off. Your customers will be pissed off. Do take note of that. And they'll be upset. They will just shut down. But when they are ready to buy, in fact, they will ask you, what else can I buy from you? So you need to understand what is customer journey. So these are the four questions that you need to ask depending on where they are at that current stage. Okay. So in this case, um, I'm going to give you a very simple on how we do it uh, that we are promoting AIDM. AIDM is our new uh, digital marketing. So it's called AIDM. Uh, and then what we do, we are targeting content creator, we are targeting social media managers, we are targeting small business owner. So this is not a sales talk, so I don't want to sell you anything, but I want to share with you. If you are doing a preview and we invite them to a webinar, this is exactly what we do and we focus. So now you ask me the second thing, eh? we need to plan a content calendar and what topic do we do? So in this case, we're using ARPA. You can use ChatGPT, the same thing. Here we go. You can... Uh, you, you can get this in uh, Harpa, you can get this in ChatGPT, you can have a one week content calendar. So this will be automatically created for you. Monday, motivation code, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now this is done by ChatGPT. It's not done by me. You can just ask the command, which I'll share with you in a short while, so that you can do this on your own, together with me if you want to. And then from here, you can create the content. So you get the text content from ChatGPT. You can... Um, Designing in Canva, um, you're familiar with Canva, right? Canva is also AI based today. It's a free tool, but if you think that you want to have more upgrades, you have to pay for it. Same thing, yeah. And of course, you can use Image Generator. In this case, uh, I use Mid Journey, but you can use Microsoft Designer. It is free. So here we go. Here's exactly how we do it. So for example, I would just put in the command and then because I'm sharing with my teammates here, so, but I just to let you all know, uh, anytime that your teammate actually does this, it will be uh, shared here. So I was looking for it. I think it went down. The light, it will just be left here. So ChatGPT actually captures everything that you do. So if you actually want to write a love letter to your lover, make sure that you right-click, you delete this because you don't want to have, you know, that thing there. Okay, anyway, let me just go into a new conversation and just put in the prompt that I'm using that you can see here. So following the content calendar, create a one-week content for the topic. You choose your whatever topic that you want. Okay, your topic that you want, in this case, storytelling or selling. So here we go. So it actually tells you exactly what it does. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, as usual. Later, when you join my Telegram group, I will give you all these prompts, whatever prompts, whatever tools that we have shared today. It will be given to you again completely free. So now, once you have all the things, it's good. You can use it as much as you want. You get an idea from it, right? So then you can move on to the next one. Okay. Then you can elaborate whatever topics that you have just now, which you can imagine now. Prepare an Instagram carousel, post on a topic, storytelling, versus traditional selling. The post will have six slides, each slide with 100 words. And once you do that, once you do that again, uh, once you do that, you will see the prompt just, you know, come out automatically on your own. So this is something that you can do. I will share with you uh, in a short while. So I will go along because there's so many things for me to share with you. Are, are you okay so far? You all know what we are doing? We are actually using prompts in ChatGPT to come out things for you. All right? Are you okay? Are you still following or am I lost you all already? Okay, good. Yeah, let me know, yeah, because I'm going a little bit more advanced now. This is how we do it in uh, our everyday work at DMC. Okay, just showing you how we do it. So the same thing, just not the image that you've seen. I Copy and paste the prompt, prepare an Instagram carousel, storytelling, a post has slick slides, each slide with 100 words. So basically, it will give you uh, the title, slide 2, slide 3, slide 4, slide 5, slide 6. So basically, you can create a whole presentation or slides using chat GPT. And the image, you can use uh, the ones that we introduced to you just now. In this case, we use Mid Journey. Okay? So these are things that you can do uh, moving forward on your own also. 
Okay, so here um, you can go to Etsy if you want to get, if you, if you use Canva, right? And if you want templates. Now, why do I say templates? Is because we want to be consistent. Uh, because you need to have your brand identity, your logo, your color, you know, your company logo, your colors. You need to have that brand uh, identity. So you can actually modify. Canva has a lot, a lot of um, pre existing template. If you need more, you can go to Etsy. Etsy is a, it's a software. So Etsy is a website. They can go in and you can buy. And I believe Etsy is so amazingly cheap. Now, again, give you ideas, right? Hey, there are a lot of people who are doing templates, selling worksheet, selling books, selling journals on Etsy. Do you see a business opportunity there? Do you see that? There's a lot of things that you can reverse engineer on how people are doing. Instead of just consuming products, you can now use ChatGPT, you can use Harpa, combine it and sell things. You understand? So this is, gives you uh, some idea for you. Hopefully that you can take this in. Because all these are just research-based only. So before AI, people actually do a lot of research. Today, with Harpa, with a lot of mid-journey tools, you can actually create a lot of templates for you. Okay? So just want to share this with you also. Now, once you have done the first three, what you need to do is to just schedule it, post it. Remember, it's always to post it, and then chat analytics. Hmm, my audience like this. My audience don't like this. So right now, this is our third webinar. So we know the particular topics. On average, we get about 30 packs because we have a small community. We're very personal. I know most people here by name. I know your faces also. However, uh, certain topics, like if I do SEO, if I were to do SEO, I don't know why. It generates like double or triple the attendance rates. So these are things that you need to analyze things because at the end of the day, you need to give what your people want uh, instead of short scenery, correct or not? So this is something for you to take note of. Um, then repeat the process, fine tune it, and be consistent. So that is something I want to share with you. Okay, so again, uh, irresistible content, the format for business, content doesn't sell, products for me, move forward again as you go along. All right, so I want to give you a little bit of comparison between um, AI and traditional. So you can read here, uh, but to me, I just want to highlight this. And I think as a human, as a human speaking to another fellow human, I think when we do content, especially whatever that we post on the internet, we need to have to have ethical considerations here. Ethical considerations. There are things that are not to be published, things like we do not mislead people, we do not mis uh, treat people, we do not give the impression that we are fake on the internet. I think if I can put this into you, it will be good. Now, today, currently, there's a very huge viral video where there's a group of uh, youngsters here, yeah, they go up to the aeroplane, uh, rent an expensive car, and then they promote their courses. They promote their day trading forex course. So they want to show that they are successful. They rent an aeroplane and uh, things like that. But you need to understand today is 2023. The aircon, the, 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 the plane had a portable aircon. People can actually zoom into that. People can actually see your... Uh, your, what do you call that, your plane um, serial number, your car serial number, they can actually Google, reverse Google it, and know who owns it, and they realize that it's all rented. And this group of people are just, you know, renting it, taking images, and portraying that are successful, so successful, you know, taking money, throwing everywhere, you know, acting like some rich billionaire. But which rich billionaire do that? And people today actually know all these things, but there's also a lot of people who do not know. So to me, when you do content, make it ethical. The rest of it, I think, is very pretty straightforward. It's fast, it's efficient, it's scalability, it's consistent. You can get data, analyze, but I just want to focus on ethical considerations, all right? This is something. Um, can we all agree to create good contents using AI because it's so easy now for the better good of people? I mean, do you all agree with this? Yeah, because... I don't want you to do things that is, you know, weird, weird that are going out. <laughs> no. Later, you're going to use Midjourney. Uh, transform. Um, oh, by the way, Midjourney, you can upload images and also uh, modify. Yeah? Uh, maybe in the next video, I will show to you how you can do that. Or we we deep dive in into Midjourney. But you can actually upload your video and make a cartoon, make an animation, make, a, uh, you know, whatever that you want. You know, Charles in a six-packs body. Imagine. 
imagine. Okay, let's move on into traction. I think one of the biggest question is how we, we can create content. Okay, we can create content, but how do we get traction with our content? Okay, how do we get traction with our content? So I think there are a few formulas that you need to do, and I'll share this with you. Okay, so when there was a small poll in the Telegram group, uh, this is what people answered. There are 70 people who see this, but 15 people answered. I do not know why the, the rest of the 55 people didn't vote. Oh, by the way, we do not have robots in our Telegram. Everyone is a human, yeah? Uh, just to share a few, if one day I would do a Telegram course, you can actually have robot automation and make the channel 15,000, 20,000, and uh, people are talking to it. You can actually program everything, and it's, you will not know the difference. And how I know this? Because uh, I studied how Malaysians get scams all the time. And one of it are using Telegram. It's so amazing. But just to let you know, in our DMC champion, everyone is a human, I think, and I hope. Okay, so what you're asking is, how do I reach people? How do I engage? How do I get traction with my content? So this is what I want to share with you. Number one is post consistency. If you're doing YouTube shorts, post every single day. If you can do one, post every single day. If you're doing TikTok, post every single day. If you can do two posts, do two posts every single day. Now, the thing is, you need to get the traction, you need to post consistency. You cannot post one day, and then after that, hmm, what should I do the next one more week? What should I do in the next three days? You cannot do that. So use ChatGPT to plan everything out, plan everything, like we mentioned, it's not one week. Make sure that you create content, and then start your journey. So now we can reverse edge it's very easy. We do not have to think whether it go viral or not. If it's viral, if it's something that we can do, we can reverse engineer, I'll show you in a short while. But the first thing is, Post consistency. Get a VA, get a part timer, get someone who can just help you to do this because you need to have content today. Now, keep them engaged. So, people today, unfortunately, especially on shorts, especially on TikTok, they only have two seconds to know whether they want to watch your video or not. Two seconds. Two, not seven, like a goldfish. Two, dua. So how do you get people to interact? You know, by having visual cues, highlight circles, you know, move the arrows everywhere, frequent visual auditory change. So this is what you do because people only have two seconds to, 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 to have interaction. And this is one of the best um, currency today available on social media is attention. You understand? It's attention. So the currency for social media is how long people actually stay to watch your video. To watch your content and if you uh, do not believe me which is okay you can actually uh, i can actually uh, back up with this data when you watch tiktok or when you watch uh, instagram or when you watch youtube shots okay those videos that you watch on your social media right on your mobile phone correct or not or youtube whatever you watch do you realize that the moment you spend a lot of time on a particular topic okay you you think eh? and then what happens is the social media fits you more and if you still spend a lot of time on that particular topic, your whole social media will be transformed to that particular topic, to the particular niche, feeding you. And in return, you give full attention. You keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling the same thing. And the next thing you know, uh, the next thing you know, ah, I just want to fall asleep. I just scroll on um, uh, YouTube for five, 10 minutes. And the next thing you know, 12 o'clock, you go to sleep. Four o'clock, you're still scrolling. Can I have a feedback that it actually happened to you? Does it something that is common to you? <laughs> uh, Kat is my wife, so I, I, I know how, I mean, I'm actually basically describing her. Lah. <laughs> okay, the rest of you, you know, I mean, do you all face that? It just come again and again, and you know, if it, it just fits whatever you want, and social media able to do that. Okay, the third thing is um, you reverse engineer people. So whatever content that you want to do, if you can think of the content, I'm sure everyone has done it already. There's nothing that you can create unless it's uh, like the woman monster in the submarine, bless her soul. Okay, but any videos that you can think of, you can reverse engineer. So if you think that hey, I like these people, I can do it. In this case, let me share with you how it's going to read this. Uh, you can use Social Blade. Social Blade is a platform, it's, uh, it's a browser, it's, it's, it's online. You can just type in socialblade.com. You can put in your TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube channel, and it reverse engineer for you. In this case, let me just explain how it goes, right? 
So this channel has been created in August 29, 2022, which is last year, August 29. And it's about maybe about eight, nine, nine months now uh, from, from now. And it has about 428 uploads. Okay, so on average, it posts about one, one and a half videos on a daily basis. And it have today 94,000 subscribers only. Not many, but only 94,000. But the watch view is 34 million. It's from US. So on estimate, they are making, it's always on a higher level, higher. Yeah? So they're making about 18,000, 19,000 a month. Uh, up to today, they are making about $236,000. Okay, that's USD. So it's about 1 million uh, ringgit by posting videos. So if you want to see what kind of videos people post, you can use Social Blade. But I do it differently. Okay, uh, instead of following people, I mean, instead of reverse engineering whether I should do that video or not, I will only reverse engineer people's videos so that I can post the same and earn the same money. You all make sense? Make sense to you? All? So let me just show you live what kind of uh, so uh, this uh, cat's video is all about. Okay, so this is the exact uh, page that I showed you, Social Blade, uh, and the channel is actually cat's uh, videos. You know, they have an SSS there. So if I were to go to uh, Google now, uh, sorry, YouTube now, and just type in the cat uh, videos, if I SSS, it probably comes out here. So just to share with you, all they do is these short uh, videos, the cat videos, yeah? So all they do is uh, they pull shots. So if I want to make that kind of money, I need to just follow how they've done. This is exactly what they do. So I just get randomly. And that's it. OK, scroll again, another one. Another one, another one, and another one. And they'll just pop you into the uh, never-ending abyss. So you might be thinking, what the heck? I can do this video. Yes, you can. I'm not saying that you can't, you can. You can take content if today, I'll come back to that in a short while, okay? But um, yes, you can actually reverse engineer all these things and then follow what people do. It can be motivational, it can be business related. So once you get the data, you get the style, you get the analyze, whatever that you want to do. End of the day, on your own method, just add value to your prospect, your own style, and that's it. So. The moment, the first three months will be hell. I will say this here. Yeah? The first three months will be hell because you'll be probably doing and there's no traction. Uh, nothing is happening. You know, not much things are happening. You probably want to give up. But people who can break the six months, yeah, they will see magic. Okay, Just just believe in the system. Whether it's TikTok, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Instagram, IG, whether it's Facebook and things. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to share with you, it is uh, invoke emotions if you are using thumbnails. Because we only click, the first thing that we do is click on thumbnails, okay? So if you can see these two thumbnails, uh, obviously, if you can if you can say that, hey, it's not fair, Charles, this is a five years video, this is only seven days video. But if I ask you, based on these two thumbnails, which one has more emotions? The top one or the bottom one? You answer me in the chat room. The top one or the bottom one? So the bottom one, you can see silhouette. You can see the 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 shadow of the body. It is a cool thumbnail. No, 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 nothing wrong with it. It's a very well done thumbnail. But if you really want to show things, yeah, you must have the emotions. So again, based on your niche, based on your topic, uh, let me just show you live in front of here. So if I were to go to motivational videos, you can see a lot of people have videos. Um, okay, speech. Oh, by the way. Motivational speech, it is text-based, music, slideshows, no face video. Again, no face video. That means you can use AI to make the content, uh, use ChatGPT to come out a nice speech for you, motivational speech, use uh, AI's uh, synthesizing software to create a voice, uh, use a uh, software to make the uh, slides, and you can make good money. Okay, Again, don't listen to me. Reverse engineer, I taught you how to reverse engineer. You just need to do it, okay? So you take a look. This image, this image, which one will you click? You decide yourself, right? You can see the difference. So uh, for AI, so this is an AI niche, right? So this, uh, you see a certain pattern to everything. Do you realize that? So when you consistent posting, make good 
great thumbnails, you will see things. Of course, that one thing that I don't really like is, you know, when people show that how much you can earn, um, the MC style is not like that. You know, we like to teach you content. You can earn unlimited money if you do the work. Yeah? Not as easy as what people say here. So anyway, I want to talk about this. Emotions. Yeah, emotions. Some people, uh, if it's your niche to make money, you can put a big money. How you make 30000 a month? Up to you. Um, emotions. Yeah, emotions. So you can take a look at how people do things. Okay, look at this. This is 337000 three months ago. Let's look at the main thing again. It was a picture of uh, Steve Harvey. No, you want emotions. You want people sad, happy, angry. Because in a motivational video, in whatever niche that you are doing, I want to share this with you, emotions plays a very important role. In this case, uh, even if you're talking about money, you can make wow, or you can put money, you can put livestock, up to you. But you need to invoke the emotions because if without emotions, it's going to be difficult. All right? So the last thing that I want to share with you is analyze the analytics. So if let's say today, hey Charles, if I'm starting new, what kind of niche can I do that can make money? For example, you want to earn some extra income. If you're working, you want to earn extra income, I would say this, reverse engineer things. Uh, let's reverse engineer them, dumb, them, dumb. <laughs> let's call him them, dumb. Ah, okay, whatever. Okay, let's reverse engineer dumb. Okay, so you can see here, here. Uh, he has uh, 752 subscribers, 930 videos. So again, if I were to reverse engineer him, I would take uh, the URL here. I will go to Social Blade. I will just at the top here enter your user username, which is dumb them. And now I know that hey, you know what? He's from uh, USA. Uh, he has made um, 930 videos in the last two years, two and a half years. And he has about 750,000 subscribers. And every day you can see that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, he's posting content. And you can reverse engineer what kind of content has the most traction, what kind of video has no traction or less traction. So you must do your own research. This is why we analyze the, analyze the analytics. Okay. So anyway, he's making on average about half a million in a year, which is good enough for any one of us. You want to do, you put in the work as simple as that because these are proven things. So let's look into them or dumb here. What kind of videos is he doing? So I want to focus on shorts because you and I can do shorts. Okay. So you and I can do shorts. So let's see what he does. He does these kind of videos. Uh, let's see. Okay, is he using an AI voice or he using his own voice? Let me you hear it carefully, you answer me. Now, as I continue, right? As I continue, uh, he has a very weird memes at the top here. That's his logo, his branding, probably. And then he's playing a game at the back. And then he's just putting some memes as he go along, talking the thing. That's it. That's it. And if you realize every single thing, the same thing. So he's getting memes that is free. He doesn't even print all this. He's putting AI content, and then he makes the voice, you know, and then he uploads it, and then he uploads it, and he uploads it, and he uploads it on a daily basis. Two and a half years later, you can see that on average, he's making about half a million. So, <laughs> so sometimes, you know, technology, reverse engineering people is the way to go along. Now, am I interested to do this? Yes. With AI, yes. If you asked me three months ago without AI, do I want to do this? No. It's going to be very slow in the beginning, but we have a community. If you think that you want to do it with me, let's do it. I have nothing to sell you, but we get data. We can share each other. You can do it as a part-time. Who knows if it's good? I can even open up a division in my company to do this kind of videos. I just upload on a daily basis. All right? So this is for you. And I think I am towards the end oh yes thank you Wani. the story is taken from reddit yes so no content is original in this damn kind of things yeah it's all just storytelling in a very weird way will i watch him no i don't think so but the market he done his research he knows his target market the world is big enough for all of us So for those who do not know why we are doing this, because we are DMC, simple as that. We are award-winning, we have uh, 
so many years of our training, we are giving back to the community. We have more than 3,000 people that we have trained. Oh, by the way, we have started physical classes. So if you're keen, you can let us know. Uh, we do have a very new course, which is uh, Diploma, Executive Degree, Executive Masters in Digital Marketing. And we do have a very new course, which is uh, Professional Certification in AI-Powered Digital Marketing. It's a six days course. If you're keen, let me know or whatever. Uh, this is Unimas, and I want to promote this to you.